Hey guys, what's going on? It's Misty Hina with Misty Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm actually recording on Monday because we don't have school. It's Columbus Day. You guys went to school today? I, I don't know. Anyway, today's video, I'm going to be focusing in on the ultrasonic real life project that my students are doing. So I'm having them use their ultrasonic sensor to make a robot that should mimic something that we have already in real life. And so they're going to be able to be creative. Some of them are going to be looking at instructions. But anyway, regardless, it's going to be epic. So if you guys want to see those projects, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you guys have already seen, I hope, the ultrasonic toilet paper dispenser. That was awesome by Andy. And then you guys already saw the hand sanitizer or soap dispenser. I'll show you guys those again in this video if you missed it. But today what I wanted to do is show you some of the other projects that my students made for this ultrasonic real life project. So for those of you that teach robotics, basically I gave them a project where they had to use their ultrasonic sensor and whatever robot they made with it, it had to mimic something that was in real life. For instance, again, when I drive out of my neighborhood the gate that opens just somehow sees that my car is there and automatically opens the gate. In this video, you're going to see some gate openers and then some other very cool projects that my students made using their ultrasonic sensor. So without further ado, let's go to those projects. It goes by and that sees it go by. It closes. Beautiful. So the truck drives up to the ultrasonic sensor, causing it to open. Now, you know, let's say the truck breaks down, like right here, we don't want this gate to close on the truck. So we will wait till the truck passes by this ultrasonic sensor right there for it to close. Let's try that one more time. So it sees the truck, it will continue to stay open until the truck goes by, activating it to close. Something goes in, in the range of the ultrasonic. Ooh, deadly. Yes. Perfect. That's exactly what it should do. I'll show my other classes how amazing this was. Elijah's, what do we call this? The goldfish dispenser? Okay, go for it. Oh! Very nice! It's just gonna wait for... That is very cool. So it just rolls out the paper. And I don't know kind of a private question whether that's enough for somebody but it's a really cool project and it's looped so that way if you need some more it will just give you more okay so when your students if you try this with your students some of them will want to create their own you know instructions and make this just from their creativity and then some will tend to go towards the instructions like mr you know i just need to have instructions and that's okay I, I tell my students, you know, either way is fine or something in the middle. I don't know if there is something in the middle, but I give them that option because I want them to feel comfortable in what they're making and, you know, ultimately feel confident at the end of this project. So hopefully you like those ultrasonic sensor projects. If you can give that a shot because very cool. And the students are able to understand how the ultrasonic sensor works and be able to connect it with real life, which is, again, what we always want, right? Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. 
Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.